According to reports from Spain, Premier League club Newcastle United are willing to pay £67 million for Real Madrid at this summer. We are going to be discussing you detailedly on that in this episode as we progress. And shortly after that, we will be turning our attention to the next agenda of the day as La Liga club Rayo Vallecano are interested in out of favor Real Madrid attacking midfielder, but his 3 million wage appears to be an issue for the deal. We will be discussing you detailedly on that in this episode as well as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Newcastle United have reportedly expressed their interest in signing Real Madrid rising star Avagule. Real Madrid have no intentions of selling their Turkish wonder kit According to the report in Spain, Adagule, who had an impressive Euro 2024 campaign with Turkey, has become one of the most sought-after talents in European football in recent years. His performances have caught the eyes of numerous top clubs, but it appears that Newcastle are particularly keen to secure his signature just 12 months after he sealed his dream move to the Spanish capital club. According to a report from Defensa Central, an intermediary recently approached Los Blancos to gouge the club's willingness to sell the 18 years old and hinted that Newcastle might be willing to pay a substantial sum. The report suggests Newcastle would be prepared to launch a £50 million bid plus additional £17 million in bonuses for Avagule, who has been described as a world-class talent if Madrid were contemplating a sale, totaling £67 million. Last July, the Turkish young star signed a six-year deal with the Champions League winner but saw limited playing time in his debut campaign, making just 12 appearances across all competitions. Real Madrid have no intentions to sell Goulet, considered as a key part of Carlo Ancelotti's plans in the upcoming season. The young midfielder is considered a key part of the club's future and both the board and manager Carlo Ancelotti are reportedly very impressed with his development. Ancelotti is said to be planning to give Adagule a more prominent role in the team next season, as the Turkish starlet looks to bounce back from an injury-laden year. Yeah, Adagule stayed for Real Madrid in the 2023-24 season. Avagule played a total of 12 games, scored 6 goals, 0 assists, totaled a total of 73 minutes per goal. He also played 440 minutes in total and missed 22 games due to injuries. So, having discussed on that, Newcastle, backed by Saudi Arabian public investment funds, have shown a willingness to invest in young talent in recent years and securing a player of Goulet's caliber would be a major coup for the Macpiece. We'll be bringing you more updates on that in our future episodes. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as La Liga club Rayo Vallecano are interested in out of favor Real Madrid starlet Renier, but his 3 million euros wage appears to be an issue for the deal. Since joining Real Madrid in 2020, Renier has had loan spells at Borussia Dortmund, Granada and Frosinone, but struggled to impress at these clubs, causing a decline in its market value. 
the Brazilian talent started the 2023-24 season well at Frosinon, but an injury limited him to just two goals in 22 league matches. Now Real Madrid are urgently seeking a new club for the Brazilian, aiming to recoup some of the 30 million euros they invested in him. Most recently, the 22 years old shone for Real Madrid Castilla with a hat trick in their 5 1 victory over CD Ileska, making a solid impression on coach Carlo Ancelotti, who, according to reports, was present in the stands. Despite his stellar performance, Renier's future in the Spanish capital remains uncertain, though he has attracted significant interest from other clubs. Indeed, according to Rodra, Rayo Vallecano is amongst the teams that have expressed interest in Renier. However, his salary estimated at around 3 million euros has complicated potential negotiations. Rainier himself is keen on continuing his career in Europe, which adds another layer of complexity to the situation. Rainier has attracted interest from teams in Spain, Portugal and even Brazil, where major clubs are exploring the possibility of bringing him back four and a half years after his departure. For now, the Brazilian continues to impress. Training with Castilla, he has demonstrated his talent and fitness in recent friendlies, scoring once against Albacete and netting a hat trick against Ilesca, as we said earlier. His performances indicate that he is ready to make an immediate impact wherever his next opportunity arises. In any case, a future with the Merengues seems bleak, given the club's abundance of options in midfield and attack. They will likely attempt to oversee a sale for the Brazilian whose contract expires in 2026. We will be bringing you more updates on that in our future update. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have now come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.